about to update the USSI host uh, with the VMware newer package of VMware tools. Uh, it could be a lot easier to update the whole environment as we got uh, we got 60 servers to update with the current version of VMware tools. And the version that comes with the VM ESXi host is not actually the current one. Here shows that it is the current version on the VM gas. However, there is a newer version that does not come with the up latest update of ESXi. And for not needing to upload the image to each of the 60 servers that we got in the cluster, uh, we, we may instead update just the ESXi host is the current package. For that, we must first download the package from the VMware site. It comes in a zip file. Let me show you. This is the file we download from VMware site. To proceed with this update on ESXi host, we first need to decompress it, which I already did. Here's the decompressed file. And to ease the process and update in a single share instead of the local storage, upload it to a, a data store that is visible for any of the hosts. Uh, all hosts are able to see one of the data stores here and we can upload to a single place. And with this update, uh, we make the ESXi host point to the data store where, where the package is. Okay, so let, first let's upload it. I'll take this one. I'll create a, a folder here just for organization. Okay. Now I'll upload the whole folder. Uh, this folder comes with the floppies and VMware device of Windows and Linux uploading. So just say yes. Alright, the file is there. Once the file is uploaded to the data store, we must take note of the, the name of it. In this case, I will update the 02. Alright, once logged in, first of all, to, look, to be able to log on the ESXi host with the SSH, it must be enabled on it and uh, allowing. Once there, uh, I will search for the place where the files are. Uh, we can do this on this path, VMFS slash volume. And then we can hit a tab and see all the data stores that are there. This particular one, that is where we uploaded. If we hit a tab, we're able to see the path within it and then we come to the ISO and then here, here's the file where I just uploaded the file. Yes, actually all system settings, advanced, set, dash O, dash user virus, project location, dash S, and the whole path of the folder where the package I uploaded, okay? The successful of this command comes from just dropping a line, uh, not getting any uh, error messages. If this happens, things should be fine. The system is already pointed to the new ISO location. However, we must update this on the ESXi. Do like a recycle of the system settings that points to this place. By that, we must remove the link, the, the link and recreate it. To remove the link is basically this command rm for slash project locker. Uh, again, the success comes from the nothing appears. And now you just need to recreate it. And then minus s slash emfs slash volumes slash no. 
and dash project blocker. This will recreate the link, and now, uh, from now on, uh, whenever we here again, nothing shows as an error. It means that everything worked fine. We have updated this particular host. So when we power on any system uh, within this server. Select it, this one, Hold on. I can, instead of do, having that job of mounting manually the ISO on each VM at a time, I can just right click and select the option update VM to in automatic mode, which it saves a lot of time. I'm part on these boxes uh, within the same server I just up updated. So you can do it in a batch mode. Uh, let's move on. Okay, now the systems are up. Uh, we have these templates to update the package. Uh, instead of go to edit settings, mounting the ISO on the system manually, and then going to the next next process to update each at a time, we're going to move to the ESX side on a virtual machines tab, and then we select one by one the templates we're going to update. Here it is. I will hit the control to multiple selection this 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 uh, I think there is one more here with all the posts you have in place here to be updated you just right click get install VMR tools and instead of the of the manual process this will do everything automatically and here already shows that the system is going to reboot automatically as well after we have upgraded the VMware tools, we got the notes here that it has been completed. Uh, for the VM, we have uh, it installed, we log in and validate the version we have. Now we are able to see that the VMware tools are in the current version. Once it has been completed, we can see the summary tab of the VM that is now going to current. And we did this for the, all the servers in a single click. So it saves a lot of time. I'll keep the article on the comments and uh, all the comments in the comments as well as a reference. Thank you for watching. Legal. Agora eu vou editar e deixar isso aparente.